And hello everyone, Lights and Gear is back with another flashlight review. And I have something different today, something different at least for me. Now there have been uh, other people as of late who have reviewed this light because it's come out in mass force um, a couple, as of a couple of months ago, as of the date that this uh, video is being recorded. So, but so uh, as much as to say is uh, other people have been reviewing it. Um, this is me reviewing it now for the first time. If you've seen a video by somebody else, that's great. I'll try to touch upon the things that I think about it are important. Um, and maybe I'll pick up on something that uh, somebody else has not mentioned previously. But anyway, we have the BLF Q8 right here. And this was a production of the folks who are flashlight enthusiasts at Budget Light Forum and the folks at Forefire who actually uh, developed or built the light. So this is a combination of BLF and Forefire and they've come up with a Q8. This is, um, I guess, what they describe as a beer can flashlight and it's uh, very, very bright. It's just a tad over 5,000 lumens on its top output and it's highly customizable. You can use it to be as simple as you want or as complex as you want. And that's the way the folks at Budget Light Forum wanted it, I guess. This is the box that comes in. Not much to see here. I've taken the flashlight out of the box, but the only other thing inside here, other than the foam padding, are some spare O-rings. And they give you about three of them here. Uh, one is uh, very big and the others are a little bit smaller. So those are the only accessories they give you outside of the instruction manual. And <clears throat> that is right here. So in the instruction manual here, there are a number of uh, website links. And they talk about the Budget Light Forum thread, which talks all about the flashlight, of course, from its inception. And there's also... Um, information here on how to read up on how to use the light, the configuration and so forth, which is also part of that thread and uh, whatnot. So anyway, that, that's the information they give you there uh, in the manual and everything else here regarding it. Now, it's, it's a rather complex light if you want it to be, as I said before. It's very customizable so you can, I'm not even sure if that's a word, but you can customize it to lots of different settings and that's what they're talking about here in this part of the manual because there are two operating settings if you will it's at its factory um, the factory default is set to ramping and that's the way I have it set up as a ramping flashlight and most of the videos I've seen that other people have recorded on this also have it set to ramping because that's the easiest part of it to use I'm sure many of the folks who were involved in its conception at Budget Light Forum probably have the other setting, um, which is called um, Mode Sets. So you can have it set on Mode Set if you want, where you'll get Low, Medium, High, Ultra Low, Medium 1, Medium 2, Turbo, and that kind of thing. You'll get several different modes and so forth, and different ways to tweak each of those. But in the regular ramping, you won't get modes like that because it ramps from the lowest from the lowest output up to the highest output you can make these particular changes within ramping as it says here you can you can enable it and you can disable it you can also set um, the, the uh, brightness for the moonlight settings and you can adjust the thermal temperature um, of it because um, once it reaches 55 degrees Celsius or what's that about 130 degrees Fahrenheit on the inside of the flashlight um, which is usually if it's been running on turbo mode or the highest mode for about three minutes or so that's when it cuts itself down in half in lumens um, so you can adjust that as part of the ramping settings as well you can adjust it to run longer and for the outside of the light to get hotter and you can also change some of the some of the uh, emergency blinky modes here as it uh, mentions so those are some of the uh, personalized settings you can do and uh, on the back here it does um, run down a couple of more of those um, within each of the um, within each of the settings so um, anyway but it um, 
you can look at this more closely on my written review at lightsandgear.com and um, there are other settings here on this other side of the page as well and then they also give you this flow chart if you will this um, <laughs> has just about everything on here um, and I guess they they intend maybe for you to uh, take this with you put it in your pocket fold it up or something like that and then um, you can um, you know look at it if you forget one particular portion of how to of how to run the light um, that could come in handy if you want to get that tech that uh, fancy about it or that technical about it but here's the flashlight it's about 5.1 inches long so it's not terribly uh, long it's just wide uh, you have a, a couple of inches uh, here at least in the head um, in diameter so it has it has obvious um, depth to it I guess uh, not so much length but it's a very nice flashlight to even just hold I mean I have relatively small hands and it works well for me so anybody with medium or large size hands average to large size uh, will certainly be able to get their whole hand around um, around it and grip it like that so here's your power switch nothing on the bottom it is flat you have a very aggressive knurling on here so it's very easy to grip and these fins up here uh, work well for heat dissipation here are the LEDs there are four of them and these are Cree XPL HD uh, V6 LEDs and they all work exceptionally well together and so now the batteries undo the base guess I should uh, lube this a little bit so we can uh, lose some of that squeaking here are your threads here and inside the head um, the thing about the batteries is uh, they do suggest uh, button top batteries but they should also be unprotected because if they have protection circuits to them chances are um, if they're a little bit too long the head will not screw down all the way on top of them and the light may not work so you want the head to uh, screw down as far as you could possibly get it it should tighten down as far as it can in order for the batteries to make contact within here and that's why they basically say uh, to use unprotected batteries since they will work best especially uh, high high drain batteries um, and um, pardon me I seem to have a bug over here I have a bug on top of this flashlight one of these things that flies around um, I don't need that visiting me at this time goodbye get out of there okay we got rid of the bug so anyway um, it is best if you use unprotected batteries since they will fit better than protected batteries well I have these um, Sanyo's right here these are about 3400 mAh and they work very well they do have a little bit of a button top but they're not extremely flat either and these work um, in the light you can also use the very popular uh, pink Samsung 30Q batteries they're another popular battery to use they are very high drain and you can use those in here as well the batteries all go by the way there's inside the head if you can see that there are four springs down there in the bottom the batteries all go the same way so they are uniform within the light you can use either one two three or four batteries because the way the configuration is here with them set up like this um, you, uh, with, with them set up this way which is the safest way to set up rechargeable batteries but um, the way it's set up here it will work either with one battery two batteries three batteries or four obviously four is recommended because you're going to get the brightest light out of it and the longest run time if you use less batteries you'll get far less run time and it probably won't get as bright so there are your four And there's also a, uh, a tripod mount here on the back. 
Now, as soon as the as soon as it makes contact, it'll do that. It'll flash, and then this switch stays on all the time as long as the light is off. When you turn the light on, the switch goes out. When you turn the light off, the switch comes back on. Now, if you don't like this, there is a way of getting around it. First of all, you could lock out the light totally by pressing the button four times. One, two, three, four. It flashes and it locks out. So now it won't go on anyway. It won't go on if it's somewhere in a bag or whatever. It cannot go on because it's locked. So that's one way of turning off the, um, the LEDs or turning off the switch so that it doesn't illuminate when the light is off. Now to unlock it, you have to press it again four times, which obviously is unlikely in a bag or something. One, two, three, four. It blinks and comes back on again. The other way of stopping the illuminated uh, button is by slightly turning the head. So if you disengage the batteries, the light will go out. Or you can do this. You can press it until moonlight comes on, which is what happens when you lightly press the switch. You'll get instant moonlight, and then you press the switch again immediately, and that turns the switch off. So if I go moonlight and then press it, it goes out. And then if I want it to come on again, I just press it once, and it will, it will come on again. It is on in moonlight right now, but it's so hard to see. Let me turn this other light down. Pardon me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so moonlight is on right now. And then if I press it again, the, the uh, light goes out and the illuminator comes back on. So again, if you want this out that way, just give it one press until moonlight comes on and press it again. And then the light is out and so is the illuminator. But we have to have the illuminator working in order to talk about the flashlight. So right now it's in moonlight mode. And that's, that's, way, that's the way you can get to instant moonlight. And then to start ramping, just press the button. And it, will, and it will start ramping all the way up to the highest brightness. Let me, um, now this is a very nice beam. It is, um, the, the tint is neutral white, which is very nice. So it's not a cool white. It's not a warm white. It's in between. And if you can make out the way the ramping runs here, I just keep my finger on the button and it goes all the way up to the top. And then when it gets to the top, it starts coming down again and coming down again. And then if you pause at any point and then press the button again, it'll continue to go in the direction it was going in before you paused. If you click it right away, it'll go in the opposite direction. So I can be going... I can be going down and I can stop and I can press it and I can go up and I can press it and I can go down and I can press it and I can go up. So you can keep going back and forth up and down as long as you don't wait more than a couple of seconds to press the button. But each time you wait more than two seconds, it is locked in that direction. So when I press it again, it'll keep going up again. So that's the way to do that that's the way to do the ramping and that's the way you can reverse the ramping. If you um, if you desire well obviously you'll have to be reversing it at some point but there is mode memory so I can turn it off at any point here and turn it back on and it will remember where it was the last time and the way you get to um, the highest mode you can either ramp to it or I can have it off and I can double click like that and then I'll get to the instant turbo mode, if you will, the instant highest mode. Now the camera really isn't showing it as bright as it looks in this room. And if I point it against the wall, it's actually too bright for my eyes. With the wall bounce, it's too bright. doesn't look that way on the camera, but it's actually too bright for my eyes uh, when it bounces off the wall. So it is a very, very, very bright flashlight at just over 5,000 lumens. Now, of course, um, I can press the button here and it will start to ramp back down again. And it already starts to get warm. It's getting warm in my hand just being on the short time that it was there on the highest output. Now, there are also flashing modes on this flashlight. Um, 
I guess it would seem correct that a flashlight would have flashing modes, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, there are about uh, five flashing modes on the light, and uh, I can tell you what they are. Uh, there is strobe, regular strobe, uh, there's a police strobe, there's a bike strobe, or a bike flash, and there are two sets of beacon modes. One goes really fast, and the other goes slow. So those are the flashing modes, and the way to get to those is you have to be on the highest output. So I can, I can turn it off, and then double click for the high, and then double click again, and I'm in the flashing modes. And the thing is, if you want to get to one of them, you have to keep pressing the button quickly. If you pause during any of the flashing modes, then it will lock in on that particular flash, and you won't be able to go forward to the other ones. But you can also go back. This right now is the police flash, and it's the least annoying, which is why I have it on at the moment. But if I want to go back to the previous one, I can press and hold, and then it will go back to the previous and I can press and hold again, and then it'll go back to the other previous. But this is driving my eyes absolutely bonkers right now, so I have to turn it off. But I think you get the idea that if you pause during any of the flashing modes, it'll stay on that flashing mode. So in order to get to a beacon, you have to keep pressing the button rapidly through all the first flashing modes in order to get to the beacon, which will be like the fourth one in. And then if you want to go back, press and hold the switch and just and instantly release it after about a, after about a second and you'll be in the previous emergency mode so i hope that makes sense if it doesn't you can read about it on my website where i have it all written written out um, so you can have a look at that there um, <clears throat> i think i've i think i've pretty much um, covered the basics of the light um, as i can as, as i say it does so much if you want it to but to keep it simple is to just leave it in the factory default ramping uh, section like this in the ramping setting and you can use it just as I've been using it I mean you do have instant access to the to the uh, moonlight mode if you want and of course you have instant access to the very brightest mode and a lot of you know you don't use um, hopefully you don't have to use strobe and that kind of thing too often but of course you can get to that very easily as well just by getting to the highest mode and then double clicking into strobe. So there are ways of um, doing, doing the basic things rather quickly. Um, obviously the other settings have all kinds of other possibilities and um, you can change all kinds of things and you know change this and change that and have this one go brighter and whatnot but you know you can read about you can read about all that uh, within the manual and um, on the uh, budget light forum site they have it all written out as well but this is a very cool flashlight and it's one which um, is very unique in what it does um, there's there's a link below where you can pick one of these up Banggood is the major uh, retailer which um, does sell the BLF lights banggood.com there is a link below in the description here where you can go to Banggood and pick one up there the uh, link is also in my written review at lightsandgear.com. Um, it's um, got a coupon for it too, so you can um, uh, knock down the price by a few bucks. Um, Any way you slice it, it is a wonderful deal for a flashlight of this type and this size. Um, if this were made by Nightcore or one of the other brands, it would be twice as much money easily. So you're getting a very good value with this light, being that it is a BLF made by Thorfire. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. And of course, that's been the BLF Q8 flashlight. We'll see you next time for more flashlights, batteries, and chargers at lightsandgear.com. You take it easy. Have a good day.